Anthony Capozzi spent 22 years in a prison cell for crimes he did not commit. And today we've learned he's reached a settlement with New York State. Senior correspondent Rich Newberg has more on this developing story, Rich. Well, the settlement is for four and a quarter million dollars. It's the largest settlement ever, I'm told, of any court of claims case of its kind in New York. The settlement was reached through negotiations with State Attorney General Andrew Cuomo's office. If you remember now, Anthony Capozzi, who has been battling schizophrenia, had grown up on Buffalo's west side and had been wrongly convicted of raping two women at Delaware Park. He served about 22 years behind bars before DNA evidence was found at ECMC that led to his exoneration. The evidence was eventually linked to Altemio Sanchez, now in prison for committing rapes and murders. Buffalo attorney Tom D'Agostino had represented Anthony during his trial and along with Anthony's tight-knit family never gave up fighting for Anthony's cause. There's always that feeling that he should have never had to go through this. Uh, but when it all boils down to the bottom line, uh, to, as of today, I feel very good. I feel good that uh, he at least is going to be able to spend the remainder of his years in some comfort. Uh, I feel good that his whole family knows that he never did these things that his mother passed on knowing that what she always believed was true, that he never, never, ever committed any of these crimes. Tom D'Agostino emphasizes that the main concern is that Anthony, now in his 50s, will be taken care of properly for the rest of his life. Although he said there is no dollar amount that could compensate for what he was put through. I'll have more on the reaction of Anthony Capozzi's four and a quarter million dollar settlement coming up on News 4 at 5 and 6. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at noon.